Hi, folk, right? This is Miss Wilson coming to you again with another video. Today, we will be doing equivalent fractions. So the first thing we need to know is what in the world does equivalent mean? Equivalent means the same amount. So the fractions we're going to do today is going to have the same amount. So before we get started, we got to review some things that we should already know. So what we should already know is that a fraction that equals one, the denominator and the numerator is the same number. Because what we're saying is, if we have a fraction that is in five pieces, has five parts, and then five of them are shaded in, that means the whole And that is the fraction of five-fifths, four-fourths, three-thirds. We have to remember that in order for a fraction to equal one, we're going to take the numerator and denominator, and they're going to be the same number. So let's practice some. So let's say one-half is equivalent to something six. So the first thing I need to do is look at my denominators to see if they're increasing, which means the number is going up, or decreasing, which means the number is going down. So if my number is increasing, I'm going to use multiplication. If my number is decreasing, I'm going to use division. So you see my number is increasing. Two is going up to six. So that tells me that I need to use multiplication. So I'm going to rewrite my beginning fraction. I'm going to multiply it times a fraction that equals 1. And it's going to give me something 6. So I need to ask myself, 2 times what <coughs> Excuse me. will give me 6? 2 times 3. And remember, we said we had to multiply by a fraction that equals 1. So if my denominator is 3, what is my numerator? 3. And then I do the math, one times three, three. So I'm saying that one half is equivalent or equal to three six. So let's do another one. We have four twelfths is equivalent to something thirds. So again, first thing I'm gonna do is look at my denominators. I'm gonna see if my denominator is increasing or my denominator is decreasing. My denominator is decreasing. Decreasing means to go down. This 12 is going down to 3. So which one of our operations, multiplication or division, will cause our number to decrease? Division will. So I'm going to start with my first fraction. So I have 4 twelfths. We said that we were dividing. And then we're going to divide by a fraction that equals 1. And then we know the equivalent fraction is going to be something thirds. So I'm going to ask myself, 2 to 12 divided by what will give me 3? 4. And then remember, we're, we're divided by a fraction that equals 1. So my denominator is 4. My numerator is going to be the same number. So that's going to be 4. And then I'm going to divide 4 divided by 4, 1. So we're saying that 4 twelfths is equivalent to 1 third. Let's do another one. I'm trying to move this up. All right, so let's do another one. We're going to do 2 fourths is equivalent to something twelfths. So again, the first thing I look at is my denominator. Because I need to know if my denominator is increasing or my denominator is decreasing. My denominator is increasing. It's going up. 4 is becoming 12. So that tells me that I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to start me a new uh, equation. So I have 2 fourths my beginning fraction. Multiply because my number is increasing by a fraction that equals 1. And it's going to give me something 12. 
So for those parents that are helping their child at home, it's the exact same way we learned it. So we're going to say four times what to give us 12, 3. And we learned it as whatever you do to the bottom number, you got to do to the top. Whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the top. So we multiply the denominator by 3. That means we need to multiply the numerator by 3. And this is what our fraction of 1 is. 3 thirds is a fraction of 1, where our denominator and our numerator is the same number. So we're doing the exact same thing that us old school learned. Uh, we're just renaming it as a fraction of 1. And then 2 times 3 is 6. So uh, the last thing that we need to know is what all is equivalent to 1 half. So fractions is actually just a pattern. So I have 1 half. Then I have 2 fourths, 3 six, 4 eighths, 5 twelfths. So I hope you see the pattern. My 5 tenths, I apologize. I hope you see the pattern here. It's going up by 2 at my denominator, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Then my numerator is going up 1 at a time. So my next one should be what? Yes, 6 twelfths, then 7 fourteenths. The one that we're going to see the most in fourth grade will be what's equivalent to 1 half. And again, we can write that pattern out in order to know what's equivalent. So our last way of finding equivalent fraction is, and I call this just the check way. That's all that is. This is how we check to see if numbers are equivalent. So let's take 3 6 and take 8 twelfths. So we're going to call this the butterfly method. I'm going to take my top numerator on my first one and circle it with the bottom denominator of my second fraction. And I'm going to multiply 12 times 3. 36. Then I'm going to take my bottom denominator on my first fraction and circle that with the top numerator on my second fraction. And then I'm going to multiply 6 times 8, 48. And then see if those are equivalent. Is 36 and 48 equal? No. So let's try, let's try another. And this is just how we check our answer. So let's do 5 tenths and 10, 20. So again, I'm going to take my top numerator on my first fraction and circle it with my bottom uh, denominator of my second fraction. And I'm going to multiply that 5 times 20, 100. Then I'm going to take my bottom uh, denominator in my first fraction and circle that with the numerator of my second fraction and multiply 10 times 10, 100. 100 equals 100. These two fractions are equivalent. So I hope you learned a lot today. We need to remember that a fraction that equals 1, the denominator and the numerator is the exact same number. So 4 fourths equal 1. 8 eighths equal 1. 9 ninths equals 1. We can even do 1,000. 1 thousands equal 1. Anytime the numerator and the denominator is the same number, it equals 1. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, fourth grade, and we'll still be doing more fractions.